All right, today's a conversion video. Very iconic unit with a very unique Azor uniform, the Luftwaffe Field Division. Now, it's not going to be a history lesson as much of how we can get them to represent the different periods of the war as close as possible. Warlord does sell a metal 10-man squad. I wasn't exactly blown away by the quality in my natural version of metal minis has brought me to converting to plastic kits. Soldiers that made up these units were airmen who performed ground duties for the German Air Force, mostly rearward force that is shown in the rules as being green or inexperienced. If taking an army of this unit type, the point save could possibly be used for more of the Germans' expensive and neat looking vehicles, since bolt action at its core is a pretty fair game. It tries to make everything useful to some degree. These green infantry units do have the chance of becoming regulars after taking fire, increasing their effectiveness significantly. So it does leave a very risk versus reward army to set up. So let's start on my progress so far. A simple conversion consisting of one Blitzkrieg and one German Grenadier Sprue. I do generally mix in some SS Africa Corps heads as they have some unique character to them. Going for the 1943 vibe at the height of their semi-independence before full integration into the here. On the colors, it might be a thought to shave off the here insignias as freehanding some Luftwaffe airman wings might add some extra character. The Blitzkrieg sprue is modeled after the M36 uniform, and if you squint, you could make it pass for an M40. The Grenadier sprue is modeled after a... M43, and if you squint, it can also be used as a late version of the M40 as well. The Zeltbahn covered bodies add a nice touch, as these fellows did find out very fast. Loud blue on a battlefield was not the hottest idea at this point in history. The first Luftwaffe Field Division came out at the tail end of 1942. Uh, the airmen did have duties on their airfields prior to that. We could get away with using the Blitzkrieg sprues for a full squad. We could equally use a full squad of Grenadier Sprue to show the late 1943 and on when they were integrated into the here and turned into Grenadier formations. Even after said integration, they still did wear some of their blue uniforms, so we could convert them through paint schemes further by having some field green jackets, maybe some field blue pants or vice versa to make them stand out on the tabletop even more. The useful bit about this conversion is we don't have to use them just as their Luftwaffe stat profile in the game. We can use them as Atlantic wall defenders, Volks grenadiers, have them represent German defense of a commando raid on an airfield. More narrative player could build a story around their squad, fending off an SAS raid in North Africa, taking place in some East Front actions before being placed on the Atlantic Wall at D-Day, then fighting through the ruins of Berlin. I would encourage players to be creative and make alterations to their force. I find when I do conversion, I feel a special degree of bondness to the models that enhances my own hobby experience, and people really pick up on that vibe, making it a more enjoyable thing for everyone, as well as bringing new people into the fold. I think that's it for right now. I should have a painting a document on these guys out soonish, and hopefully I can get the Conflict 47 project out for Halloween, and that'll be it for October.